What's up, YouTube? We got a yo-yo review to do today. This is the apathy. So the apathy is the brainchild of my friend Dave McAvoy. You guys probably know Dave. Dave uh, is a big yo-yo collector. Massive yo-yo collection. Just cool dude, too. Pittsburgh guy, local guy. Love Dave. He's awesome. Uh, he's been a good friend to me, good friend of this channel. Nice guy to talk to. Nice guy to hang out with. Uh, it's great when he gets to come to club. Uh, it's always fun to see him uh, when he, he was fun to see him when he came to East Coast Masters. Dave's a cool dude. So Dave has a big collection of yo-yos. And Dave, throughout all of his yo-yo collecting, has sort of put together a bunch of things that he likes and wanted to have a yo-yo made. Enter the apathy. So the apathy is a pretty full size standard sized yo-yo. It comes in just under 62 grams, so it's like 61.8 grams or something like that. Very nice and light yo-yo. It is a bimetal, as you can see, stainless steel ring in there. Uh, nice thin, super light. Uh, and Dave's trying to sell these just so that he can kind of get some money back to just sort of produce a run of them. 60 bucks shipped. $60 ship. Dave actually already ordered the 50 piece run today. Um, and you can contact him through Facebook if you'd like one. Uh, and you want one. Because for $60, this is easily a $120 buy metal. So these are machined at FPM. And Dave has had some of the best and brightest yo yo design minds working on this bad boy. And uh, it's phenomenal. It's a phenomenal piece. I really like it. Uh, as far as sizing is concerned, it's pretty much, you know, the same size. This is uh, the original Origami, Brian Jardin's first signature with Duncan. Pretty similar size to the Origami as far as diameter is concerned. Also pretty similar in width as well. So, uh, full size yo-yo, maybe a touch on the wide side, which I like very much. Uh, good size diameter, really just plays great. It really does. Uh, this is a phenomenal yo-yo. Butter smooth. Uh, it only comes in this color. I asked Dave why. He's like, well, gray is the color of apathy. And I'm like, that's the name of the yo-yo. Like, oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Uh, just a cool design overall. It really, really came out nice. Uh, and I really like everything about it. So I've had this since Saturday. Uh, actually met Dave at... Uh, little bagel place up here by me, Einstein Bagels, and we, this is, it came right out of, we just, I opened it up straight out of the uh, packaging from the factory. I was the first person to touch it, first person to see it, and he was like, I want your honest opinion about it, and if I should order the full run. I gave him, I threw it around, gave him my opinion there, I'm like, I feel, I feel like this is good, and I'm gonna go play with it for a few days before I do a video. And uh, honestly, I just love it more. It's so, so good. It does everything that a bimetal is supposed to do. Uh, it's nice and light, super light. 61 grams, very light yo-yo, but it maintains that like extra, st extra stability and extra spin time because of the stainless steel ring. So it absolutely utilizes the bimetal design. So it's not like just a waste of slapping a ring into a yo-yo. It's actually really well designed as far as bimetal construction is concerned because you get a lot of stability and spin time because you get a lot of rim weight with the stainless steel ring there, but it's also at 61 grams, super light. Uh, the design is also super cool, very comfortable to hold, very comfortable to throw, but also like just a, just a monster. You know what I mean? Like just a like straight up competition slayer monster. You can see it's even rounded off there. And so just a nice smooth feeling. It just, it feels good in every aspect of how yo-yos are supposed to feel good. This feels good. That's probably enough of me raving about it. Let's go throw it around a little bit. I'll show you guys what I mean. All right, guys, we are back with the apathy. First thing you'll notice on the first throw is it is like, it plays light, but not super light. And you get a lot of the like power that you want from a bimetal, clearly. It just kind of spins forever stays on plane, and then it binds nice. Um, 
I mean, really, like, this This is a great yo-yo for just about everything. It would be great to learn tricks on. Great for tech stuff. Great for speed stuff. Although, I can't play fast because my hands are cold. But it doesn't, like... It doesn't feel like it's pushing you too hard either. Like, it's not... It doesn't want to play faster than I want to play it. But if I want to push it, I can. You know what I mean? Great size for chopsticky type stuff. But it's not tiny. And it's just... It's just right. Like, everything was just done right. You know what I mean? And it basically spins eternally. Really, really just super long spin times. Rejections are nice. No issues there. Regen's nice. Grinds buttery smooth. The finish on this thing is magical. I mean, just really, really great grinds. And because of where the ring is placed, it never snags on your string, or never snags on your uh, skin either. The ring's on the inside. So, full on grinding surface. Pretty much perfect for that. I mean, buttery smooth. Uh, this is, I mean, FPM does a great job. This, this yo-yo just feels quality. Like there is, that's the bearing you hear there. You don't, there's not, there isn't a hint of vibe. I mean, this thing is 10 out of 10, perfect, smooth, perfection. Um, comes off the string nice. There's nothing snags, the response is really good. It's those just like regular silicone pads that uh, I'm always like, yeah, these are the ones I want, because they don't snag. Nothing snaggy, nothing to get in your way. I mean, you could, like, this would slay competition, this would be, I mean, this is perfect. It really is. For only 60 bucks, I mean, this is better than most $120 buy melt, truth be told. Uh, finger spins, very capable. If you get it in the center there, you can get some, like, dead-on finger spins, like if you use the soft finger. But uh, you can also finger spin around the cup as well. So, it kind of just good for the finger spins, regardless of how you like to do it. I mean, really, just it, there's there's only good to say about this year. Literally, only good. Um, standard gap, 4.5 millimeters. I kind of used too thin of a string here, but that's okay. I like wraps. I like wrapping the string. Excellent. 10 out of 10. Perfect. Let's go ahead and stick it on the desk. I'll take it apart and we'll show you guys the insides. Alright, we're back on the desk with the apathy. Uh, so you guys are going to want to get this. I mean, for 60 bucks you're basically getting it at cost plus shipping. I mean, that's really that's really what it is. Dave's not looking to make money. I, he's just looking to like, he wanted to make a cool yo-yo and he wanted to see if anybody else wanted a cool yo-yo. That's it. 60 bucks is basically cost, because he's doing a run of 50 through FPM. Comes apart beautifully. It was machined perfectly. Standard uh, silicone pads there. They work great. No, uh, no issues at all. They work great. Center track bearing. Shiny. Spins nice. Spins quiet. Spins long. Just good. All right, let's check out all these cuts here. Cuts on cuts. Maybe not that many cuts, but still. So we got a nice rounded edge there. That nice cut there, it looks really good. Uh, comes up and then kind of H's in a little bit. Uh, and then it's very like ever so subtly rounded over right there uh, to kind of keep the yo-yo from, the string from snagging on the yo-yo, which I think is perfect. Uh, truthfully, you hear me talk about that a lot. You hear me talk about how 
the string interacts with the gap and, and what have you, and that really makes makes a big difference to me because you can really feel that, and it's the difference between a very like smooth and fluid playing yo-yo and one that's very like stat like playing. Um, and I, I prefer this. I prefer the smooth fluidness of this yo-yo. Um, so let's do pros and cons. Pros: fantastic machining, great finish, uh, the bearing is nice. The response is nice. Uh, I mean, you really, this is a top quality yo-yo. This is like premium stuff. It doesn't really, machining, designing, all it doesn't get much better than this as far as yo-yo design is concerned. Phenomenal across the board. FPM does a great job. They did a great job with this. Dave did a great job having everybody design it or having, you know, some people design it. Danny, you, Danny had a hand in it. Uh, he's also at our local yo-yo club. But uh, a couple other guys had uh, had their hands in it as well, tweaking the design a little bit. And uh, it really, it, it couldn't have turned out better than that. This is a fantastic yo-yo. It couldn't have turned out any better. Uh, I like the color. At first I was like, I don't know about gray, but I think it's great. I think it turned out awesome. I think it looks great. I actually really like the contrast with the like polished ring and the matted gray. I think it looks really good. From my understanding, this is what the production run is going to be exactly. Uh, so it should look just like this. Um, Finger spins, very doable, either soft finger, like in the middle there, or if you just want to ride the cup around, very easy to do. Uh, not difficult at all. Comes with, uh, I believe, lifeline strings. I think that's how it's going to work out. I'm not 100% certain on that one, but uh, you can message Dave and ask him. Um, I mean, the number one thing is, like, you're getting this basically for cost. If you get it 60 bucks, it means it's basically just enough to buy the yo-yo and ship it to you so Dave doesn't lose money on it. That's really all there is to it. Um, I think a little bit goes towards like prototypes as well, so he's not like losing money on the prototypes, but uh, it's phenomenal. It really is. It's a great, great yo-yo. Uh, it hangs up there with $120, $140 buy metals. Uh, I don't think there's a CLYW buy metal that's got anything on this. This thing is phenomenal. Really great yo-yo. Uh, and just great playing. Great feeling, nice and smooth, rejects nice. Uh, knocked it out of the park. Literally knocked it out of the park. Like I said, Dave collects a lot of yo-yos. He knows what he's doing as far as yo-yo collecting, and he knows what designs he likes, and uh, this is his brainchild. This is his baby, and uh, he loves it. I love it. Uh, I think you're going to see a lot of other reviewers are also going to love it. So make sure you pay attention. Keep an eye out. My boy Simply Mike from uh, the Throws Definitive, or the Definitive Yo-Yo now, as I think he renamed the channel, the Definitive Yo-Yo. He's gonna have a review out soon. Uh, Dylan Kowalski's gonna have a review out soon. Uh, Nate from Let's Talk Yo-Yo is gonna have a review out soon. So you're really, really, really gonna wanna keep your eye out for this. Uh, also, I'm gonna post on the BST, but check out on the BST. Dave's got a post up with picture there. Uh, if you want one, let him know. It should be ready about January. Uh, 60 bucks, which is basically, like I said, cost for the yo-yo. Get you a yo-yo, and it's phenomenal. You'll love it. I promise you'll love it. In fact, there's only going to be 50 pieces made. You know, unless there's like a thousand people like, Oh my god, I need this yo-yo so bad, give me this yo-yo. Uh, and, you know, Dave's got the cat, we can always make more. But, uh, phenomenal yo-yo, uh, phenomenal price. You can get it from a phenomenal guy. I like Dave, I vouch for him personally. I know him, Pittsburgh guy. Couldn't be better than that, right? Right? Got, got to, got, to, got to keep it up, uh, up for my Pittsburgh guys. So uh, anyway, check it all out. Uh, I'll put some links down in the description to some BST stuff. If you're not on the Facebook BST, uh, go ahead and email me if it's something you want, but you're not on Facebook, uh, and I'll try to get that over, get that information over to Dave as well. We'll figure out a way for you to uh, talk to him about it. But uh, this is the apathy. You're gonna want one. I think it's phenomenal. Check out links in the description. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.